Hey everyone, I'm Paulina. I'm the Director of Operations at High Tech Graphics. And today I wanted to take some time to make a short informational video about one of our new systems that we are offering at High Tech Graphics. Um, today's system will be focused on our new online ordering platform. We wanted to take, again, just wanted to take a few minutes and walk through that process together, kind of note some key sections to look out for to help um, expedite that process of getting the order entered and that proof out as quickly as possible. So we're going to walk through that together. And the first step that we have here is we do need you to log in to hightechgraphics.com. You'll log into your account. If you have not logged in in a little while, it might prompt you to reset your password. That's solely because we have upgraded our internal system. So if you follow those directions, you'll get into your account. You'll see a lot of the great features we have to offer here. So you can see here I am logged in and that first option here is place an order. So by clicking that order, this is the page that we will start filling out all the details. And again, this will auto into into our auto enter into our system and that proof will be out usually one business day faster. Every day counts. We know that in production time. So we're here to help every step that we can in this process. All right, so starting off, um, we're going to start on the side here. This um, insert new job information will autofill with whatever you have registered with us in high at High Tech Graphics. So the main thing I want to focus on in this section is the email address. Whatever email address is listed in this box, that is the email that the proof will be sent to. So I highly advise to slow down if you need to add a second email address in there or update it to wherever the proof needs to go, um, please update that right here on the order form. Moving down, we have our shipping and our pickup. So we know that we ship about 90% of our orders because of our free outbound shipping program, um, or we can put hold for pickup. So if we're gonna click shipping for this um, example, and we have two options here. We can blind ship on our HTG account. Um, we do blind ship top to bottom, no labels or anything that will say high tech graphics on there. It will have your information top to bottom on all of our packages. Or we, so by selecting this method, um, you will then either be billed for shipping if it's not one of our free items. Again, our free app on shipping is long sleeve, short sleeves, polos, and caps. So any hoodies or, or anything like that, there will be the charge of shipping. But, or the second option, if you know you have an order that is not that free app on shipping and you like to ship on your account, so you can click that ship on account and then fill in the details for us. All right, moving down, if we're shipping, we are going to pick our ship to location. So we're going to fill that out together. So let's ship it to high tech graphics here. Commercial Boulevard. All right. Now the next section here will be the enhance date. So again, this is the date that your customer physically needs to order enhance. That means it can arrive that day up to 8 p.m. So strongly advise if you have that date, enter it in. If it is not something that the, we feel like we can meet for you, the rep will e reach out via email and update you. So for now, we'll put our hand hands date for the 27th. And then of course, the next section, if you have a coupon code, we do send out coupon codes regularly. So please watch out in your emails for that. Um, as you can apply them here and they will apply to the order for you. So once we filled out this section, we're going to move back up to the top to our job details. This is kind of where every detail counts for us. So the more details, the better. Um, it'll help you help our art team lay out that proof as accurate as possible. So it says here, this is where you are titling the order. So we are going to title the, enter a brief description here, try to include the quantity and a simple description and the apparel that it's going on. So for example, we can do 100 HTG t-shirts, let's say it's t-shirts and hoodies. So it's t-shirts slash hoodies. 
So again, you this is what will show in your client portal when you log into that. So you can put any key indicators in there that you need. All right, moving down to the select and imprint method. Let's do a screen print one for example. And then it'll ask you, is this a repeat design? If you click yes, a box will pop up where you can either put your original PO, your previous PO, or your job number that if you have access to the online client portal, you can pull your previous job numbers and you can fill that in. So if we were just to enter a previous PO number in that box, and then this next part is where your current PO will go. So adding a PO into the system is optional. We strongly advise it. Again, it's just another layer of the checks and balances that we can utilize here. But in this box, we do request that we enter the new PO number or whatever your PO is. And then again, you can attach a PO here just by opening and attaching that there. And I'll attach little files for you. All right, moving on to the art the add file section. This is where you have your art and any additional spreadsheets details that we might need to get all the details to, for your order. So again, we will just attach some art here and you will see the files we'll add for you below. Moving down into the design section. This is probably the most important section to get that proof accurate. So starting off, we're going to start with our design one. And then this is where we'll pick our imprint locations. We have, let's say it's front and back. And in this box, we're going to move to filling out the thread to be used per location. So for the front, if we say it's white ink in the back, we can say it's also white ink. And then any notes for the design here, we can do 12 inches wide for the front. 10 inches wide for the back. Um, again, the more details that you have in the system, the better. We also have included a link here that you can click on and view our standard colors of threads and ink, as well if you need a PMS chart that associates with our standard colors. So um, you can, by clicking that link, it will take you to that place. So once we feel like we have design one laid out clearly, so we have front, the shirt is getting a front and the back. The front is white ink. The back is white ink. It's 12 inches wide. We can hit insert design. By hitting insert design, that box will pop up for you to show you that is what design one needs to be laid out. So if we say we have design two where there's only certain pieces that get the front design, you can insert your design two here. So design two, let's say the front design the front design will get black ink this time and same design as design one but with black ink so again correlate the two designs if they um, match or you can lay out as many designs as you need in this section so by entering that, you can see now we have design one and design two listed. That means there will be two pages on your proof, design one and then design two. Moving to the next section, um, this is all about the details of the apparel. So um, it will ask you to fill out um, the breakdown of your apparel. So if we do a standard Gildan 5000, I would say the first one is Navy. And there, um, this is where you'll fill out. There's 10 smalls. It's going to go to design and one or design two. So you'll pick accordingly, let's say it's for design one, insert apparel information, and then we will, it does pre-fill if you need to enter more sizes. So we can say medium, we're going to have 16 medium. It still stays with design one. We're going to enter our apparel information. Then we can move, let's say, um, design two is with black ink, so the shirt is going to change to white. We can go back to small, 14, and then we'll change the design to design two. So it lays it out nicely here for you, nice and organized. Design one is going to be the navy shirts, and here's the breakdown that we chose. You can remove these if you made a mistake, or and then re-add them. 
So once we filled out the apparel information, we have our designs laid out, our apparel's filled out, we're gonna move up to the top here for our tracking and receiving information. We're gonna select our vendors. We've listed out our most popular vendors. Again, we have that free inbound program from SNS, Sanmar, Alpha Broder, and Cutter and Buck. So, but there's also the options of others if you have a vendor that's outside of those the main basic ones that we do the free inbound or you can put your customer drop off so we will click our vendor here we will reference the po that you ordered the apparel under we understand that not in all cases the po that you send to us isn't the same po that is that you send to your vendor for the apparel so in this box here we strongly advise and it will help the matching process on the back end if you can make sure that this PO that is filled out in this box here is the PO that you order the apparel under with um, with the vendor. So let's say we ordered this with the vendor. We understand that you might not have tracking. Again, if you utilize those free inbound programs, we will receive all the tracking and we it will auto match internally for us. So it helps us by saving time, not having to reach out for tracking, but we've also taken it to the next level. And again, we handle any short ships, missed pulls or damaged items with the vendor directly for you. And again, we've seen that to save about a day and a half of production time. So we want to free up, free up as much of our customers' times as possible. So that is just a great added feature that High Tech Graphics does for our customers. Now, um, we do have an option here to attach the vendor's PO. So if you have that SAMR confirmation, the Broder confirmation, you can just add that on here for us. It again, it's just another checks and balances. The, the team can reference that it matches based on what we put the breakdown here and matches on the SAMR confirmation. And then once we fill that out, again, tracking is optional. Um, you can hit insert your tracking information and that little line will pop up. So we're almost done. We just got to look at our progress summary board. We have selected our imprint method. We have selected our shipping option. The PO is attached. We have our art files attached. We have all these checks, um, design setup, apparel information, tracking information. So it looks like we're about ready to submit this order. We have, again, upgraded a lot of things internally. So our quoting system has also been upgraded to where you have a location where you can save your quotes by title. So by if you have quoted this on our online quoting tool and you've saved it and you're logged into the same account, you can click here and click one of your quotes and you can hit and it will pull up whatever quote that you need. All right, from there, we're just gonna hit submit. And if anything does pop up, it'll show here at the bottom. So it says here, we are missing the shipper account information. So we're gonna slow down, we're gonna go back to our shipping section, and we did choose that we're gonna ship on our account, but we didn't fill out a number. So there is, um, it does give you the error codes and why, so we can slow down and figure out what step did we forget to fill out, so great example there of just slowing down and double checking our order form and now we have entered the order successfully and this is a preview page of everything you filled out on it um, and moving to make if you need to make any changes or if you need to adjust everything we understand customers change your mind whatever we need we're here for you so you can click on this need to make changes and it'll take you to an email and you can email the sales team. You can reference your PO. I placed an order online. I need to make a few changes and our team internally will get you taken care of. So again, this is just a great new system to help expedite that pre-production process because we understand that every day counts for y'all in getting these orders out to your customers. Please reach out if you have any information or any questions or any information that you might need. Um, I hope you have a great day and we will talk soon. Thank you.